I uh, wanted to make a little video. Uh, this is a video I'm shooting my uh, Athens Peak 38. I got a I got a clarifier. I got the A clarifier, A plus, A plus clarifier, and a six power lens to go with it. And I got the the cheap lens off of eBay. It's the premium cheaper lens. I paid like 80 bucks for it. I got it drilled out for a 15,000 uh, piece of fiber. And uh, yeah, just wanted to make a little uh, intro for this video. Appreciate it if you guys would uh, leave a like, comment. Let's get a conversation going. And uh, subscription, subscribe, man. I'd really appreciate it. Trying to build the channel up. You know, feel like sharing this stuff on Facebook. I appreciate that too. Uh, yeah. Uh, just uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you like it. Any advice? I'm up, up for, up for any advice you can give me. So appreciate it, guys. Hope you like the video. Hey, hey, guys. What's happening? What's going on? What's good, everybody? So, if you watched my last video about the sight tapes, it was a pretty good video back and watch it leave a like you know let me know what you guys think it's a pretty good video I thought today I wanted to talk about what I'm working on now is a lens uh, I have a piece of glass in there I have a piece of glass in my ultra view and I have a piece of glass in my no, I turned it off and I have a piece of glass in my peep. I bought one piece of glass. Instead of buying the kit, I was like, I got really good eyes. Pretty good eyes. I don't. I, they used to be better, but they're still pretty good. But I used to have really, really good eyes. Now I still have good eyes, but anyhow, everybody kept saying, oh, I shoot a B, I shoot a B, I shoot a B. I'm like, I, I think I'm going to be better than a B because I have, you know, pretty good eyes so I went with the A plus the Hamsky A plus and I went with the six power uh, scope I got, or yeah lens I got off of eBay it's that cheap optic 300 something if you get on eBay and search lens and look for the cheapest one you can find on it, it's like I think I paid $80 for this one but I had it drilled and I got the premium and it's the ultra view there's there is one for the ultra view so if you look up ultra view lens more than likely they're gonna come up and it's a, it's a pretty good quality lens at least as far as I know because I don't know a whole lot about them but this is I'm just getting started shooting this clarifier I literally just put it in yesterday and I'm shooting pretty damn good already uh, it's taken me a little bit of adjusting my dovetail back and forth figuring out what I personally like and as of right now I got one two three dots back and I don't know what that's going to do to my sight tape it may throw my sight tape I don't care if it throws my sight if it does throw my sight tape off I can put my other scope back on the the uh, the 3d printed the uh, the SR whatever it is the the 3d printed one it's an awesome lens or an awesome scope I really like it I shoot it really good but uh, yeah so if I have any problems with my sight I can do all that but let's take a couple cracks I'll show you I I just have a rail high roller target down there at 20 yards and it's what I'm doing is shooting the bottom middle, the top middle, and then one of the left or right ones. Depends on which way my arrows are pointing. Sometimes they like to point that way or that way, so it is what it is. Alright, we're shooting a six power lens in the A plus. There's there's an A minus, A plus, and an A Hamsky Peep clarifier. I got the A plus, which is just one tick down from the B clarifier. Maybe I got the wrong one in there. I don't know. I don't know really what I'm supposed to be looking at. It's nice and clear. No matter what I do, it's pretty damn clear. I didn't turn my light on. It doesn't seem to make much of a difference. I put a, uh, 
you guys that have the ultra view stuff I put the smallest circle in the center of my lens and then I have a, a 10,000 piece of fab fiber in the middle which I can't really see because it's so small I need I have it drilled out for 15,000 and I need to get a piece of 15 I thought I had some but I can't find it find myself blinking more my eyes are I don't know if that's just today I don't know if it's because of the lens eh, some people I really like this thing this thing it's not like a prime ridge it's it doesn't get all shaky on there I can shoot with it on there it doesn't hurt my feeling Good shoot. Pretty good shots. Let's go take a look at them. That's not terrible bad. I'm trying to get. See, that's not terrible bad, right? I'm in the white. You know, I uh, look like maybe I might be shooting a little bit to the left. Uh, I don't want to move my sight too much. I might go ahead and scoot it a little. Move my sight just like one or two clicks to the left like on my site that's in and then there's out so I think I'm gonna move it out we should move it to the left like one click I'm gonna move it one click and see what that does uh, or maybe I'll just leave it there because it's actually not that bad I'm right there I'm probably that would probably be three tens and one X I'm, I'm assuming something like that so that would have probably been a 30 with 2x or 1x probably 2x uh, close enough I don't know like I said this is I'm just guessing here uh, this is my first time shooting a six power lens with a verif clarifier so I'm hitting the white in all three shots <laughs> I mean, it's it's uh, yeah it's pretty good so it's gonna take me a little bit to get used to but uh, so far I really really like it like it's different it's a different style of shooting shooting with a six power lens and a clarifier is really different I've gotten really good and comfortable shooting with both eyes open and I keep wanting to close one eye close one eye to really square that thing up but if I do that I'm not a steady I'm not anywhere near steady like if I keep both eyes open and really concentrate on what I'm shooting I feel like my shot is steadier or I like if I get off center I can get back on center quicker and easier but I then I have a little bit of double vision issues I got to deal with so it's one of those things like there's I don't know what do you want to call it a give and take kind of thing so like I don't know I don't know am I gonna like shooting a six pound I don't know I gotta shoot it a little bit and play around with it it's all So I'm just gonna pull up and shoot a few shots. I'm gonna shoot around with this bow and put it down and pick the other bow up and shoot around with it. Just go through my shot process. See that containment here? I took this off. I need there's a screw underneath here where you can turn that up without screwing up your timing. I need to do that. in the white. Looks like low white, but it's in the white. It took me a while to get that one off, too. I gotta be better, but I hit my hand yesterday. Hurt like hell. I caught my zipper in my hoodie.
like it's in the white. I moved a little bit to the left on that shot. Why? I felt myself do it. Three shots in the way. Cool, cool, cool. <clears throat> kind of weird going from one bow to the other. This one has a lens, the other one does not have a lens. Oh, I didn't turn my light on. I can shoot it without the light, but. The light makes that ring in there a little bit bigger. Ooh, I'm gonna miss that. I said I wanted to move that a little bit earlier. I forgot all about it. Move it out. I don't know if I missed it or not. Looks like I just caught the white on the far right. I should have shot the center first. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna shoot the white target. I'm gonna aim for the center red because I don't know. This thing is so touchy, so touchy. I'm just gonna aim for the center and the red. my video about my lens and I deleted the video where I went down and I showed uh, my shots from shooting both bows. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Like I permanently, usually if I delete something like that, I'll leave it in my trash and then I can go down and get it. Like I deleted the end of this video. So I don't know what the hell I was thinking. I apologize for that. But uh, yeah, I, I played around with that lens. Uh, I tried using my sight tape and I was playing, I should have never, I should have never tried using my sight tape with that lens. I, I tried shooting like out to 60 yards and ended up blowing up an arrow. Well, I didn't really blow it up, I just pushed the, the point back, which, you know, I got a dozen of them. Uh, it ain't that big a deal, but I should have never tried to make that shot. I don't know what that was thinking. But I really like the lens at 40 yards, like 30, 40 yards. It's going to take a little bit of getting used to, but uh, like I think I'm going to like it too at 20 yards. It's just, I got to get used to it. I got to get the right. Right now, I have uh, Ultra View. When you buy an Ultra View, you get uh, a whole bunch of stickers. And I like a ring. I don't like a dot. I like a ring to shoot spots with that look the like the Vegas targets or whatever. I like a circle for that, like a ring. And uh, right now I have the smallest ring that comes with the Ultra View sight tape with the sights or whatever or the the sticker, the smallest sticker. And I think I want to go up at least one more. Maybe even two more. I might want to go up one or two more 
to shoot spots anyhow. I don't know if I'm gonna want that big of a circle when it comes to shooting 3D targets, but uh, for indoor, for indoor 20 spots, 20 yard spots, I want a bigger ring. So I gotta play around with that. I'm gonna do that today actually. So maybe I'll make a little video on that and show you that process. But uh, as for now, I just wanna end this video. Like and subscribe, share it with your friends, tell your wife about it, that'd be cool. I'm just joking. Uh, yeah, if you feel like sharing, it's cool. If not, that's cool too. There's a cop. Uh, I'm down in Philadelphia. Uh, yeah, let's get it going, let's get it going. Thanks for watching, guys.